Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be going over a weapon system. Um, to start off with, we already have all the collision code, so you should already have that before you like, start working on this. Alright, so here we can move around and shoot. Uh, this weapon that we currently have is called a single shot weapon. Then we can uh, go over this uh, green uh, square right here. Then it allows us to pick up a weapon, which is a multi-shot weapon. And then here, we go over this other one, and it gives us an automatic weapon. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, to start off with, we're going to be going over a uh, numerator for our weapon. So this will hold each weapon type. So our single sh we're going to have a single shot weapon, an automatic weapon, and a multi-shot weapon. Alright, so inside of our player, um, in our create event, we have uh, quite a few variables here. So can shoot will be the first one, so this will determine can the player shoot or not. And is shooting is uh, for input. So if we're uh, pressing down left mouse click, which is the trigger button, then it will set is shooting to true. If shooting is true, and if we can shoot, then we'll shoot. All right. So here we have fire rate timer. So this will determine um, when we can when we'll refresh can shoot, so we can shoot again. Here in multi-shot, pellets is just the amount of shotgun pellets that we can shoot. Multi-shot spread is just going to be the spread in degrees. All right, so here, um, these are just going to be our weapon stats, which will basically just be the core of everything. Um, so here in weapon stats, we create a DS map, which is a dictionary. So here in DS map, we'll add our weapon stats uh, map, then we'll give it a key value, which will be our enumerator values. So weapon single shot, weapon automatic, and weapon multi shot. All right. So after that, for our value, um, set an array, which will hold the weapon single or the weapon type again. Uh, so weapon single shot, automatic, and multi shot, because I need to know, um, in inside of the shoot function, what kind of weapon it is. I can't do that based off of, you know, the damage or fire rate. So we're going to need to know the um, the uh, weapon type again, unless you could just say, you know, create a weapon type variable. But uh, I feel like this is a bit easier. So. Um, so we just create an array after our key, and then our value just going to be a uh, weapon, the damage, and then the fire rate. Uh, weapon, damage, fire rate, and you know, so on. So here we're going to set our current weapon. So in weapon stats, we'll put a question mark for uh, specifying that it's a DS map, and then we'll give it a, uh, a value, so what kind of weapon we want. So it'll start us off with a single shot weapon. All right. So here, uh, just make sure you deallocate uh, DS map. All right. So here in our shooting code, uh, we might go over that first. Okay. Go over input. All right. So in our input, uh, if we're pressing mouse uh, left click, then we'll set is shooting to true else it'll be set to false. All right, that's all there is for that. Um, so inside shoot, if is shooting is true, so for, you know, pressing down an input, and if we can shoot, then we'll shoot. All right, so before we can shoot, we need to go inside of our fire rate to determine when we can shoot again. So if we cannot shoot, then our fire rate timer will plus will be added to C delta time to get the time. Um, so C delta time is the current delta time, which is divided by one million. So I can uh, determine the time in seconds. All right. So once uh, fire rate timer gets updated, then we'll um, you know 
create a if statement, seeing if the fire rate timer is greater than or equal to the fire rate of the weapon. If it is greater than or equal to the fire rate of the weapon, then we'll reset our fire rate timer and set our can't shoot variable to true. So we can shoot again. All right, so inside of shoot, we have a switch statement for the current weapon. So uh, we need to know what weapon it is. So that's the enum uh, element position. So case of single shot, automatic, and multi-shot. Here we have in our single shot, we, um, let's go inside our bullet first. So inside our bullet, we need to know the direction um, if our bullet's set. So is set means um, has the player set the direction for the bullet? If the player has set the direction for the bullet, then the bullet will be allowed to move. So here we have direction, is set, and speed. And inside of our step event, if is set is true, that means our direction is set, then we'll give it a direction and speed. And that's all there is for that. All right, so here in single shot, we um, get a hold of the bullet instance um, based on this return value for this instance. Uh, so we create instance create uh, depth, x, y, uh, depth of one, and uh, obj bullet. All right, so we need to pass it a direction. So it'll be moving towards the mouse position. So point direction, x, y, mouse x, mouse y. All right. Then we move on to uh, setting or allowing the bullet to move. So we set is set to true, and we set can shoot to false. So whenever we shoot a bullet, can shoot will be set to false. All right inside of uh, automatic, same exact thing. Okay, so in multi shot, we um, have a for loop, which will, you know a temporary variable i so while i is less than multi-shot pellets so um, the amount of bullets we want to create it'll create all eight of those bullets all right so it'll create the bullet we'll get the direction well we'll get the bullet direction by uh, the mouse position and then we'll use the multi-shot spread so we're adding two degrees. So we give it negative or random range, negative multi-shot spread, and then positive multi-shot spread. So it's within negative 10 or I believe it's 10. Yeah, negative 10 and 10. So there's about of a, a 20 degrees of movement there. All right, and then of course we set is set to true so the bullets can move and can shoot to false. All right, so that should be good for all the basic stuff. Uh, but if you want to be able to pick your uh, weapon up or anything like that, or just see how you can switch weapons, then um, so here we just have if place meeting x y o j weapon, and then if we're pressing enter, then we will create a temporary temporary variable. All right, so we'll get the nearest uh, o j weapon object. And then we'll uh, set our current weapon to weapon stats and uh, go through the map and get the variable out of the OBJ weapon, which will hold the weapon type, which is just, just the enumerator for weapon. Um, uh, this right here, weapon single shot, automatic, and multi shot. So it'll pass the um, current weapon on the ground pretty much. And then it will destroy the instance. So here in OBJ weapon, we just have the weapon type. So just to switch the weapon, all you need to do is uh, right here, set our C weapon and just pass in the uh, enumerator value. And that's it. And this is what you should have as a result. So single shot, multi shot, and automatic. All right, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. See you next time.